Hey guys, Croft is here. Today I want to talk about the early versions of the Alien Covenant script with more scenes about the Engineer City and their technology. I'm pretty sure most of us were expecting to learn more about the Engineer culture in Alien Covenant, but unfortunately it did not happen. We only got a couple of minutes of action involving Engineers, and it turned out that these were not even the actual Engineers, but another humanoid race. I recently discovered storyboards and new concept art that explained the original Engineer City that we did not have a chance to see in Alien Covenant. In fact, the creator of the Xenomorph design, Geiger, also designed the Engineer City that was supposed to appear in Alien Covenant as the Engineer Homeworld. But Ridley Scott decided to not use Geiger works and I'm gonna explain why. The script and artworks also have information about how engineers produced and used electricity, which is slightly different from technologies on Earth. In the early draft of the script, the Covenant crew spent more time exploring the engineer city after their visit to the temple. David would show them the streets and the engineer technology that was somehow advanced but different from what we have on Earth. Even in the movie itself, we see a lamp created on the planet 4 that detects movements and produces light. As David says, they were highly advanced in their own way, but at the same time limited in certain aspects, which is evidenced by the ancient looking type city. And this idea kinda makes sense since there is no one specific way that a civilization has to develop. Some of these scenes from the draft were featured in HBO documentary before the premiere of the film. After the Covenant crew passes to the Engineer City, David starts to explain them what is this city and shows tall dark buildings created by engineers. As described in the script, there are many giant statues, some of which we actually get to see in the film. The script specifies that the architecture of buildings is very Geiger with twisted combination of biomechanical elements just like we see in the design of Juggernauts and Prometheus and the original Alien movie. In Alien Covenant, however, the city has Roman-like style and people are dressed in robes pretty much like peasants. There is an explanation on why they decided to go with the Roman architecture instead of traditional Geiger engineer design. I think Ridley Scott changed the style because originally he thought that the Planet 4 would be the actual engineer homeworld with the same engineer race that we saw in Prometheus. But then he changed his mind and decided that instead the Planet 4 would be another humanoid race planet created by engineers. So I think that's why he put aside Geiger's designs of the city to use them in Alien Awakening or another Alien movie when David would reach the true engineer homeworld. If that's correct, we'll probably see these artworks on the big screen in the future. It was also kinda weird that in the film nobody asked David about the city and the engineers. Everybody just ignored that they just found another advanced humanoid civilization. The Covenant expedition is sent 10 years after Prometheus, therefore no intelligent extraterrestrial life has been found so far. But nobody is surprised by what they see and they don't express any interest which I think wasn't very realistic. One may argue that they were shocked by what just happened to them, but even in the temple nobody asks David about the city and its inhabitants. In the early draft, however, David is asked if engineers had electricity. David says they did, but for some reason the binary logic never occurred to them. It's also briefly stated in the script that the engineers used some version of solar panels to produce electricity, but I think it would be pretty difficult because of the frequent storms and rains on the planet. There is also a sequence where David shows the orrery and then the crew goes inside of it. It was supposed to be a similar scene to the one in Prometheus when David activates the 3D hologram of the stars and planets which eventually zoom in to the solar system. In the orrery there is also an arrangement of stars and planets but instead it's in physical form. 
It was a huge disappointment for many people that we did not have a chance to explore engineers and their city. I personally wanted to find out where the engineers came from and what was their civilization. I think the reason why there wasn't many scenes with engineers is because after Prometheus, a lot of people complained about that the story was largely based on engineers and not xenomorphs. So Ridley Scott kinda took a note about that and made the next movie about aliens and not engineers. This also might be the reason why the third act with the Xenomorph fight felt a little bit like a different movie compared to the first two acts. Probably Ridley Scott included the Xenomorph fight just to satisfy hardcore Xenomorph fans. I like Xenomorphs too, but I was also hoping to explore Engineers, which is a really good twist in the Alien franchise, I think. What do you think about this? Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you guys for watching, hit a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Alien content.